Joto, man, what's good with y'all? It's your boy, none of the swole, none of the chosen one, none of the glow. I'm back with another video, y'all. You already know the deal. Shout out to all the new subscribers. 15,000 subscribers, we coming. We coming, we coming, bro. It's 15K. This is crazy, bro. You know, I look at the growth I've made on my channel, and I can only thank God, man. I can only thank God for so far how I've came because if it wasn't for God, I probably would have gave up. Because the attacks, the tribulations, the trials that I've been through, you know, the devil attacking me, you know, for me not to get to this potential, for me not to get to where I am today, it, it was insane, y'all. I didn't get here easily. No, 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 no. Don't look at me and just be like, oh, this dude, he ain't been through nothing. He never, he, you know, he, he's got 15,000 subscribers. Bro, do you know how tough it was for me to get to where I am right now? It was very tough. And I only thank the man above because I probably either would have died throughout my journey of making it here, lost, lost my life, of course, or, you know, been in a horrible spot in my life if it wasn't for the man above. So always give glory to God, y'all, when you go through certain things and you come out of it. It's only God that saved you. Nobody else saved you. But I want to talk about something, y'all. I want to talk about, you know, retention and, you know, how the average man does not retain. I'm talking about the average Joe. The average man you come across, he's not retaining, bro. He's either, he's either watching porn, he's giving a seat up to a, a, a female, you know, or he's, he's watching, you know, just lustful websites and releasing his seed, releasing his essence. The average Joe, the average man is always looking for energy outside of himself to, to feel fulfilled. He's looking for things outside of himself to make sure he feels, you know, good within himself. So what do they do? They buy the clothes, the jewelry, the materialistic objects, the nice cars, the fast cars, the jewelry, uh, the nice shoes, the nice drip. They buy so many things outside of themselves, you know, to, just to feel good, just to be able to get that type of satisfaction. But they don't know that when you start retaining, you have the satisfaction within. You holding on to this seed, you holding on to this glow from within. Look at the glow right now, y'all. I'm about to be hitting 80 days. Wait, yeah, 80 days very soon. And the glow is crazy. The glow is insane. Everybody sees the glow. My beard is coming in thicker. You know, I'm becoming more masculine. My voice got deeper. If you could tell, my voice definitely changed. I have a more deeper tone to my voice. It sounds better because I'm holding on to my glow, man. I'm holding on to my essence. We're not average men. You know, average men don't retain for 80 plus days. Average men don't even retain for 30 days. They don't. And that's just the reality of life. That's just the reality we are living in. The average man is not retaining. If you look at an average man, you know, I'm not here to bash my brothers, but I'm here to let let them know, you know, they should stop being that way. You know, watch my videos to learn something and, and be able to get the advice to help your life, to better your life. If you look at an average man walking around, you go look at him. You know, you, you just, uh, you're, you're walking, you're doing your daily walks, you know, you're probably outside just walking, right? You're just meeting new people. The average man, bro, you know, you normally see their head is down, right? The average Joe, his his head is normally down. He's he's kind of shy. He's timid. He's closed off. You know, you don't you don't feel no aura, masculinity radiating off of him. The way when you start retaining, people feel that masculine aura off of you. You don't feel that in an average Joe man, bro. In an average man, you don't. This is why the mentality of the mentality of women have become this way. You know, they're starting to act more tough, independent. Oh, I don't need a man. Because y'all fellas make it seem that way. Y'all fellas are the ones causing that problem. You're not retaining your essence. You're not being masculine. So it makes you, you know, have, ha it makes it makes the woman look at you like you, you have no essence. You have no power. So she can't respect you because you are not holding on to your life force. When you start retaining, you wonder why women become so submissive. Fellas, it's not no coincidence because you are masculine and she got to be feminine. That is their role. That is their nature. Hold on, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. I have to get something real quick. Perfect. That is their nature. That is how they were made to be, to be feminine whilst you be masculine. It just, it just all, it all makes sense, yeah. It all makes sense. 
when you start retaining bro you're gonna notice this bro you're gonna start to notice women becoming more respectful loving towards you it's because you are retaining fellas the average man bro if if, if we're being real hold on, let me take this gum out y'all i don't want y'all to see me taking this gum out it's gonna starting to melt bro it's so hot right now I'm not even gonna lie the average man bro women don't res really respect him women don't really give him the time of day bro it's because he's spilling his seed bro when you start retaining women giving you attention um uh men men, men want to be your friend men want to be cool with you bro you are a leader when you start practicing semen retention bro and everybody can see it everybody can sense it it's something you cannot even hide bro look how pure i look right now bro like i look like a, a newborn baby with this with this skin glow clear skin and everything bro fellas man you're doing yourself a huge disservice and you're doing god a huge disservice the more you keep fapping the more you keep releasing your seed you know i can't i can't control your your obviously your peace that's you you know it's your junk it's your <laughs> it's your digging stick bro i can't control it that's you you got to control yourself i'm just giving you the advice to better your life because i'm i'm better in my life i'm retaining i'm seeing results i'm seeing benefits i'm seeing blessings from god so i want you to see the same thing my brother so if you're struggling with porn if you're struggling with fornication with random women if you're just struggling with being a lustful man you have no self-control the first thing you want to do is pray to god bro you want to pray to christ so he can break you from that bondage of lust because as a man if you can't tame your lust everything else around you will not will not like you, you won't conquer the you can't conquer the world if you can't conquer your lust fellas i'm gonna say that again don't let that go on top of your head you can't conquer the world if you cannot conquer your lust as a man it is very tough it is very very tough especially the world we live in with all of these cheeks flying around you know women just showing their body off like that fellas it's tough i know I, i'm a man as well bro i know the i know what y'all go through fellas <laughs> it's not easy but you know it, it's rewarding when you actually retain you don't get rewarded when you keep fapping you don't get rewarded when you're releasing your seed you're losing you know you're getting cursed the more you relapse you are you're doing it to yourself too the thing is you're cursing yourself man nobody's cursing you but yourself the more you keep fapping I can't stress this enough. We got to learn to, to self-control. We got to learn to hold our seat. We got to learn to take our power back, bro. Because it's only right. It is only, 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 only right, man. But I love y'all, bro. This is why I make my content. You know, I want I want y'all fellas to realize that there's something special within you. But I can't keep, you know, making you realize it. And you still don't realize it. You have to realize it first for me to keep saying it. You'd be like, yeah, man, you know, this guy, he's speaking facts because, man, I already know the power I hold as a man. You know, this is the power we, we, we hold as men. It's our seed, bro. That is it. We got nothing else under our belts, bro. We don't got nothing else but this life force. So that, that, that even goes to show you God made it powerful for a reason because it's the only thing that can really make you a man, bro. A real masculine man this is the only thing your seed bro i am glowing and i am shining so bright right now bro Woo! we got that glow hey yeah oh shoot i'm gonna drop my phone we got that seed hey yeah we got that glow hey yeah listen fellas just remember this bro if you see your fellow brother you know struggling you know with pornography struggling with you know dating women you know trying to chase women or, or you know he he's just he's just going out of his way as a man to do too much for the opposite sex you know and it, it should be it should be mutual you shouldn't be doing too much and she shouldn't be doing too much y'all both should be doing just about the same thing to get each other because that's how you know it's mutual and that's how you know y'all both really like each other if she don't like you keep it pushing fellas it don't matter you can't you don't have to chase her you should understand that you are a king you, you come from a royal priesthood. You come from a chosen generation. God has set you apart for a specific reason. So why would you go take, why would you go out of your way and go chase a female if she don't like you? Fellas, there's no point. You're wasting your energy, time, resources. Everything that you can be doing with that time, you wasting it because you're chasing a female. Real talk. Real talk, bro. Like, I can't stress this enough. If, you're, if your fellow uh, brother is struggling, help him. Put him on game. Talk about semen retention. 
Talk about no fap. Talk about monk mode. Talk about him getting closer to God. Talk to your fellow brothers and even sisters in Christ about this, fellas. Help other people out here to know this, bro. Because it, it's, it's getting too bad. It's getting too wicked out here. It's getting too wicked. Sexual immorality is on the rise. So much wickedness is going on. Fornication is also on the rise. People think that's the new coolest thing to do. Fornicate with random women and men. You know? But they don't know what they're doing to themselves spiritually. You know, you're casting your own self into hell in the, in the fiery pits of hell when you keep fornicating with random people. You yoking you you yoking yourself with with random people. If you sleep down, if you sleep in the bed with somebody who you don't know, y'all both are one flesh. Go go read the book of Corinthians. It tells God tells us about this in the in the Word of God. You are yoking if you yoke down with one person, with another person, with the harlot. Let's say, fellas, you you yoke down with the with the harlot. You are one flesh with her now. You both are sharing each other. She she's picking up your habits. You're picking up her habits. The demons that she had on herself, you're picking that up. Whatever demons you had, she's picking it up. But people don't people don't get this. They don't understand that soul ties are real. Sleeping down with random women and men is is causing a detriment to to, to society. People's spiritual health is cause is causing a detriment, bro. People don't realize it. They think physically, oh, the pleasure it feels so good, right? But spiritually. It's, it's not doing nothing for you, man. It's, it's destroying you. Real talk. You may not see it just yet. You know, you you may you may be so deluded that you think you know you don't you, nothing's happening to you when you when you are uh, fornicating with random people. You think nothing's happening to you. You think you're normal. But when you go when you go to sleep, you can't sleep at night. You wonder why sometimes you just get angry out of nowhere. You get depressed out of nowhere. All of these weird emotions keep hap coming into your life. Because you slept down with that one person. It, it, it's sad, man. It, it's sad, bro. Y'all gotta wake up, bro. Y'all gotta realize this truth. Or else your life is never going to get better. I, it's just the real honest truth, man. I'm here to let y'all know the truth, bro. If you don't change your ways, if you don't start accepting Jesus Christ and, and becoming a pure person, getting celibate, going celibate, going, uh, uh, getting on receiver retention, no fap, monk mode, such practices like this, your life will never get better. It's just real spill, bro. Real, real spill. Especially in this matrix and the way our generation is going. Your life will never get better. You're always going to be depressed. You're always going to be mad. You're always going to have problems because you have not put Christ as your head and you're not, you know, obeying the practices. You're not retaining. You're not keeping yourself sanctified, clean, pure. You're not. Your life won't get better. It's what it is, man. If you don't want to hear it, man, um, I don't know what to tell you. This is just the truth. This is just what the Holy Spirit has put in my spirit to let you know. You know, the average man, bro, he's not. 90, I'll say 98, 90, 97 to 98% of men are not retaining. They're not. They're, they're, they're just spilling their seed constantly, constantly, constantly. And they think they're normal. They think they're okay. They think their life is just, it's, 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 it's going good. But you losing currency in the spiritual realm. You're not building nothing up in the spiritual realm. You losing it. You 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 breaking it down. Everything that you could have in the spiritual realm, all the spiritual currency you can build by retaining, you're not building it because you keep spilling your seed. It's deep, y'all. It's a spiritual world. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, like Ephesians chapter six verses thirteen tells us. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. If I got that wrong, uh, that verse wrong, let me know in the description in the comments down below. But we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, y'all. We, we wrestle against spirits, you know, in dark places. We wrestle against people, not even people, spirits, not not people. I didn't mean to say people. Spirit. It's a spiritual world. There is there is spirits walking among us. You see somebody acting weird, you know, they're doing demonic things. That's a spirit they have on them. They're, they're acting demonic because it's a spirit that is attached to that person. If a person is doing good things in this world, it is the spirit, the Holy Spirit. The, the spirit of God is working through them. That is what it is, fellas. Don't ever be deceived, man. Just realize that not most, most men are not retaining out here. So this is, this is an advantage for you to better your life and help others better their lives. This gives you a head start of life. This makes you get ahead in life. Like the video I made, what, yesterday or two days ago? You get ahead in life because the average man is not doing it. Facts.
retain y'all retain 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 these videos are never going to stop i'm going to blow up you will see not on the soul at the top you will see me like comment share and subscribe my p.o box my ig um what else my discord my merch everything will be in the description linked down below in the description box just click under click on the title of my video and you should see things just drop down whatever you need from me will be in the description down below i'm always going to make these videos it's never going to stop i love y'all take care it's a saturday keep retaining if it's getting tough pray to god if it's getting tough open up that bible if it's getting tough just relax calm down breathe real quick breathe real quick and just know you are doing the right thing when you are retaining you're doing the right thing don't let a flat line don't let somebody saying oh you're this you're that trying to their, their negative energy their negative talks try to bring you down don't ever let somebody do that for you to relapse stay on retention because the blessings are coming let's get it not out of swole i'm out <laughs> like the video <laughs>